Hello everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is yeah, a random love reading for Scorpio. How are you guys? I thought I would just do some random readings. I won't get to everyone. So if you're cross watching, uh, I won't get to Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn probably till Tuesday, but I will have singles readings up tomorrow. Okay. So this is a random reading. What you need to know about your love life. Yeah, someone's a little shy and apprehensive. It's a person who's not quite ready to talk. They don't have a lot to say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm as young as I feel. <laughs> yeah. Little Pisces energy. Someone taking a little pause. I mean, it could be someone you're checking out or is checking you out, but they're not really ready to say too much. They're just kind of... You know, little introspection. Yeah, they will be ready. This is someone who will decide when they're ready. So someone here, I feel, is becoming more ready. They're putting the shoe on the other foot, too. Probably how the other person feels. So, But this is someone who decides to tell you how they feel when they're ready. So I do see someone asking you out. Very nice, Scorpio. Yeah, they're ready to manifest. I feel there, I mean, you could have manifested this yourself here, but it's an energy of someone who has all the tools, the information, everything they need to know, or just be a little careful of the story this person tells you. Take a little pause yourself, but I feel like it's them. They look like they're coming in with that Pisces energy. little introspection. I do feel they're putting the shoe on the other foot. I feel they're just not ready to say a lot. Yeah, it's somebody here with that emperor energy. They're ready to manifest. They have everything they need. But it's about how they feel emotionally here. Yeah, see, putting the shoe on the other foot. They're coming in to start something. So it does look like they're, if you had someone who's been making up excuses, okay, it's possible they just weren't ready. Well, it does look like they're more ready, at least to ask you out. So I do see communication. This person communicating. Yeah, just watch out for the story they tell you. That's all I have to say. But they are an emperor, so I feel they're emotionally mature to a degree. They, they're just somebody who decides when they're ready. You know, when they feel confident, they're taming the beast within themselves. Little Leo Aries energy. It's an energy, that bold energy we're all dealing with right now, being bold, going after what they want. So someone who's, you know, they, they're definitely someone who's leveled up to an emperor. It's an energy of someone who's ready to manifest. They have everything they need. So there it is. This is someone making a choice, choosing love. See, it's a strong connection, a strong bond. So it's just someone here who's been a little apprehensive. It has to do with becoming a little more confident. They may not have been that confident at first, but like I say, it's often someone who tames the beast within themselves. You know, to just try to, you know, be confident here and... Um, well, that beast could be not hurrying, not saying too much too soon till they know they're ready. But it's definitely an energy of them, you know, coming in. Some of you may even have choices here, Scorpio. I got to tell you, if you have someone who's making up excuses, you might be kind of looking at that. <laughs> this could be two choices, someone who makes up excuses and then somebody who actually asks you out because they're ready to manifest. Yeah, it's an energy of choosing the one. There's definitely a physical attraction. This is someone taming the beast within themselves. They're mature that way. Yeah, they may not be ready to share feelings, though. Yeah, if, if it is one person, it's about choosing the one. This is a physical attraction, but they're taming the beast. So <laughs> it's a level of maturity. Oh, yeah. See, it's an energy of control. See, this is someone who's... You know, coming in to take control. A little Cancer energy, Pisces energy. Some of you may have a choice between two here. I got to tell you. You know, it's an energy of someone you know, coming in, putting all those cups on the table. This is someone who's not afraid of, you know, I feel they're fairly bold. They're not afraid of wearing their heart on their sleeve, putting themselves out there. They're determined to have success if this is successful. But I also see someone putting on the brakes, taking a pause and putting on the brakes. It's about coming in right, the way they communicate, putting their best foot forward. That's what it's all about. So if you had someone here who wasn't confident, they may be more confident now. Yeah, it's an energy of that attraction, the spark. There's something there. You know, tell me about the page. Yeah, so someone who's not quite ready for the responsibility of a relationship. <laughs> 
Yeah. They could make up excuses. I mean, there's somebody who's definitely, it's a 10, so a cycle. They've released baggage from a past relationship. They are ready to manifest something new, but it has to do with them becoming confident. And that beast within themselves, see? Just staying in control, not being ruled by their emotion. They're trying not to be ruled by their emotion. That's what it's all about. Yeah, so if this is someone you've been waiting for and they're taking a pause, just waiting for the right opportunity. It's about choosing the one. See, this is someone who knows the right person to wait till they're ready to express themselves. See, there's that energy of their emotions, deep emotions here, doing a little inner work. This person's not afraid. It's not fear. It's just the things they keep to themselves. They're choosing to keep their feelings to themselves. There's definitely deep feelings, emotions are kind of just exploring them. So they're not, you know, they're not 100%. It's not like they're in love at this point, but yeah. I say it's an energy of you know, doing a little bit of inner work there. Yeah. They don't want the fear of losing control. This is someone who's used to being in control of their life, a little worried about losing control of their emotions. So I feel that's what this is mostly about. Just a person who knows better. Let's have a look at the magician. I mean, they're manifesting all the energies of the kings here. Yeah, see, it's about coming in right, putting their best foot forward. So, yeah, so someone letting go of some baggage or it has to do with responsibility. Sometimes it's a person who just needs to kind of look at how they feel about a situation because it has to do with responsibility, being reliable, being stable. So if you're waiting for this situation to come to fruition, it looks like it's going to happen. Let's have a look at the uh, Ace of Pentacles. See, it's coming in right, doing the right thing manifesting if this is this person right for me or not see they kind of look at that yeah little libra energy out they're a little cautious they play it safe they're a little careful what they wish for but be careful yourself scorpio what you're manifesting okay you might not get what you want here so like i say playing it safe is also being patient just waiting let this person just do their thing you can keep your options open if you think this is someone who you know, maybe not be your own type as well. I don't think this person would care because I, I feel this is someone who is able to put the shoe on the other foot. They don't expect you to wait. That's what I feel. Okay. But this is also, like I say, someone who knows the right person will wait till they tell them how they feel. Plain and simple. Yeah. Let's have a look at strength. This person is cautious. They are playing it safe. They're trying to, you know... They're keeping a lot of their feelings to themselves till they're sure. It's not easy taming the beast. <laughs> they are, I feel they are someone kind of ruled by their emotions generally, but we have an emperor. This is someone who's learned those lessons. They have all the tools, the information, everything they need to know. They know what they need to do. Okay, They know what they need to do. They need to show you that they're reliable. They need to show you they're reliable. They see, they're not sure they're reliable at this point or if they want the burden or the responsibility of a relationship. They may be working a lot, multiple jobs. Yeah. Could have some baggage from a past relationship they've needed to let go of, but to me it just looks like they're not really quite ready. <laughs> yeah. See, it's an energy of someone who's single. See, I see an energy of change. I see somebody, a lot of growth, financial growth, and it's energy of just going with the flow. So they're not quite ready to give up their single life yet. But there's definitely that spark. It's about choosing the one. They are looking out for themselves, looking out for number one. This is someone who also feels you have the right to do the same thing. Yeah, they won't. this person won't blame you if you look elsewhere. Okay, yeah. They're mature. I feel that way. They're just not ready for some reason. They're keeping a lot of their feelings to themselves. Yeah. It's about just coming in right. Like, you know, it's about planting the seed. They're, you know, that's, they know they, and it's an energy of someone who probably has a pretty good intuition. They know what you want. <laughs> Yeah, see, they they will reach out. They're hoping you'll reciprocate. But yeah, they also, I feel this is someone who also will understand if you've been waiting too long, if you don't. Yeah. 
See, it's how they conduct themselves, their morals, values, lifestyle. It's about being on the same page. See, they're not too sure about that. See, it's about being confident, having faith. And if they reach out to you, you'll reciprocate. Yeah. But I feel it's just a lot about the two of you just being on the same page. It's going to be about all about how you communicate here. They definitely keep feelings to themselves. They'll decide when they're ready. So, like I say, you can either wait or look elsewhere. Now, a lot of change. I see they're enjoying the fruits of their labor. So they're pretty confident. I think that's a lot of it is whether or not you're single too or if you're in a relationship. They may not be sure. There could be a little confusion, a mystery, things that they don't know. Yeah. So I do see the energy of being on the same page. I feel love, you know, reaching out. Yeah, see, there you are, Scorpio, waiting for this person to come in. If you could be patient, I feel this person will reach out. But will you reciprocate? Will you feel the same? Or will you change? See, this is sometimes when you wait too long, you change how you feel. Now, you may be also in the energy of not so sure if you just want to be single or not. Now, this could go. This could even be yourself. It has to do with, you know, someone who's responsible, reliable, pulls their weight in a relationship. You may be looking at this. Maybe this person feels the way you do, putting the shoe on the other foot. They may have not, you know, had, had a partner before that was stable, reliable, pulled their weight in a marriage, a relationship, you see. So I do see an energy of talking, reciprocating something here and making some kind of an agreement. Mm-hmm. There'll be a little fear of commitment, no doubt here. But I feel it's an energy of... Both of you, like, I feel, you know, you're putting the shoe on the other foot thinking of how they feel. That they'll see you as someone's not faithful if you don't sit and wait and you date somebody else. So this is why I feel like you're showing them you're faithful by waiting for them to offer you this pentacle. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a physical attraction. You're looking at this. Is this the one? Is this something worth waiting for? That's what I feel, yeah. See that bond, connection, love, choosing the one. You know, I, I, I would have to honestly say this is someone who can be pretty bold. They'll they'll come in when they're ready. You know, they're definitely someone who, I do think this is someone who's maybe been single for a while. They kind of have their own way of doing things, their own lifestyle, little Taurus energy. Yeah, see, it's about, they'd have to change habits. Um, yeah. Now, if you, if this is somebody you're waiting for, and there are someone who made up excuses, oh, I'm at work, I got too much going on, whatever, you know, and they come, this is someone who coming back around, they may actually act exactly like they did before. So you, this is where I feel you have to decide whether this is worth waiting for, what you're manifesting here, Okay. But yeah, and I do think this is someone who does put the shoe on the other foot. <laughs> I mean, you may have been in that situation before too. A little fear of commitment. So deciding if someone's right, waiting, feeling a little confused. Tell me more about the moon. Yeah, it looks like they got some cancer energy. Yeah, they're pretty decisive here. See, they're choosing their battles. They're thinking this through. So someone who's rushed into something before and never got what they wanted. They were never completely fulfilled. This is someone who's, you know, kind of happy doing their own thing. This is the thing. But, yeah, I do feel this is someone who does want love. They're not afraid of putting themselves out there. They're, they're not afraid of that. They're not afraid of sharing their feelings as much as they are not getting something they want. But I feel like you also need to be a little cautious here. Okay, what you're manifesting, because you might just get it, but they might act like they did. And I do think you're going to think about that. Tell me about the Hierophant. Yeah, see, it's an energy of waiting patiently for someone to reciprocate. Is this worth waiting for? Will this investing in this, being faithful, will it pay off? Tell me more about this person, the strength and the confidence. Yeah, see, it's pride and ego. This is someone here, definitely. I feel they never got what they wanted. I feel this is definitely someone who 
may have had a relationship that wasn't long-term successful. So they are someone who's very cautious. But I feel they see you possibly that way too, or you're seeing them that way. I do feel there's some kind of interesting understanding here. See someone kind of outdoorsy. Has to do with an adventure. But it has to do with someone breaking free from old habits, lifestyle, beliefs. Ah, yeah, see? This is energy of change. I see change coming in, change for the better. Some of you might be actually, you know, at some point here, maybe it was yourself. Not sure if you just want to be single or not. If you're ready for change, you may be kind of, if you've been single a long, a long time, sometimes you get set in your ways. But I actually feel for some of you, the feminine here, I actually feel you are kind of up for this adventure here, planning, preparing for success. Wanting something long term. Yeah, I think they're going to reach out. They're hoping it pays off. Yeah, they're analyzing, strategizing. They may have a little Gemini or Libra in their chart. They're looking at this. This could be long term. This could be successful. They look at you. You dress for success. You, you know, both of you kind of looking at that way, checking each other out. I, I actually feel this is quite an interesting read. This is something that's going to take some time to play out. But I do th think this person's analyzing, strategizing. They're very, I feel they're cautious. This is someone who's been manipulated before. <laughs> Their BS detectors going off. They want to make sure. See, They see someone who looks successful, dresses successful. But they also see somebody who's trying to impress somebody. Yeah. But I got to tell you, I the way you conduct yourself, I actually think they are impressed by you. Yeah, it's a person just analyzing and strategizing. Yeah, they're going to offer you this pentacle. You're going to build that foundation. This is something worth investing in. They see this is something worth investing in. So, yeah, it's, I mean, it, you, you get people like this, especially if you've been single a long time and focused on money and all these other things in your life and generally pretty happy for the most part but not completely fulfilled. See, this is someone who sees the bigger picture. They see the bigger picture. They've been had other people try to get their attention before by dressing successful. They don't fall for that, the BS detector. See, you don't have to try to impress this person. So maybe that's what you're not doing is ch chasing them, or maybe you're not you know, doing that. It's possible. Taming the beast within yourself, not giving too much, not chasing, not trying to overly dress up or impress them. So where I feel inadvertently, this person is going to offer you this pentacle. Yeah, see, this is what's so interesting. This is someone pretty smart. They've likely, you know, dated enough people to know. They have all the tools. They, you know, it's an emperor here. But I do feel it is an energy of, of a bond, a connection, love. There's a spark. There's definitely an attraction. It's like you both want the same thing. So this person's definitely a leader. I mean, it's an emperor, but they're very logical. They like to strategize and analyze before they make a decision. And you can see they're kind of thinking it through. It's so definitely someone who doesn't want you to get away. I mean, I can see that. They don't want you to get away. So that's why I feel that they know if they keep you waiting too long, you will take other offers and opportunities. So, but yeah, I don't think you need to do anything fancy schmancy. You don't have to try to impress them. You don't need to chase, tame that beast also within yourself. But they're taming the beast within themselves too. It has to do with planning for success, planning and preparing for success by building the foundation. Yeah. But they are definitely that physical attraction, you know, this passionate new beginning. Yeah. Tell me about the lovers. Ooh, yeah. See, there you are connecting, talking, sharing your innermost feelings. This will take this person a little time to share their innermost self. They're very private. They stick to themselves a lot. Maybe this is yourself too. Stick to yourself a lot. A couple of free spirits, maybe a couple loners here too. But yeah, they're going to offer you the pentacle. I, I feel what you are doing right is that 
taming the beast within yourself, not chasing, not trying to impress them or dressing for success or looking like, you know, a million bucks, you know, trying to be somebody you're not kind of energy, whether you are or not. It's very down to earth. So that's what I like because I definitely see that outdoor kind of adventure, that uh, planning for success. But this is definitely someone who has had a relationship or marriage that wasn't successful. So this is why they're very wise. They trust their own intuition. They like to think it through. They've likely rushed into a situation before thinking happy home, happy life, and somebody put on the brakes. <laughs> Maybe even themselves. But I feel they're definitely determined to not get emotionally connected till they're sure that this is going to be something long-term or successful. They definitely want someone who's successful too. I can see that. It's likely something you want too, as someone who's successful. Yeah, because that is, it's an energy that gives you something to build a foundation. Yeah, they're manifesting. You kind of mirror each other a little too. I kind of felt that earlier. Yeah, see the energy of manifesting, what you both, both people look at what the other person brings to the table. They definitely someone, see someone kind to nurturing, caring, compassionate. Well, someone who likes to do nice things, cook for someone here. <laughs> yeah, but if you are trying to dress for success to get their intention, oh, well, you'll get their attention all right, but none of that's necessary. Yeah, this person's definitely, um, I do see earthy energy. They probably have Taurus in their chart. So it's about dating, doing things in a traditional manner. See, just kind of going with the flow, seeing what happens. But if you do have someone coming back around that didn't pull their weight, and it could be you're just reflecting on that, often people do. Someone who didn't pull their weight, you want someone who pulls their weight. And it could be them who's doing that as well. The mirroring, where you both have had a relationship with a partner who didn't give you any attention, they didn't pull their weight, they were all about themselves, you know, whatever it is that happened. This is where I feel the mirroring comes in. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty normal energy, really. You always look to see what someone brings to the table. You look to see if you're compatible. You know, it's an energy of cooperation, compromise. Don't bend over backwards to please somebody. Okay? Just be yourself. I feel they'll be more impressed with that. So, very down to earth. Don't be afraid to keep a few things to yourself. This person sees that, too. Mm-hmm. Till you're ready to share your feelings, your innermost selves. Yeah, pretty interesting read, but it's like you both put the shoe in the other foot. You're both trying to see how the other person feels. You want to know how they feel. <laughs> you want to know where this is going. So, but you're, you're manifesting each other, and I do feel there will be um, communication. I do see a lot of passion here, definitely a lot of physical attraction. There's a strong physical attraction connection. But it's an energy of how well you're going to communicate. So you're going to have to be ready to cooperate and compromise. But don't bend over backwards to please them. Don't be a people pleaser. And that's what I actually feel like you're doing. You're taming the beast within yourself. But you got their eye, whoever they are. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't think you have to do too much to get this person's attention, quite honestly, you know. Yeah, I mean, the attraction's already there, so don't try to over-impress. Okay, take care. And I do feel you might have to cooperate, compromise, but it's an energy of looking at the things you have in common. Like, I do feel like there's common energy. You both want love. You both want a, you know, um, um, a friendship, a very deep friendship. This could be actually a friendship where someone's starting to catch feelings. Could be someone you work with for that matter. But um, regardless, it's an energy of this bond growing and deepening. This connection, this soul. This is that soulmate connection. Yeah, but you don't have to uh, try to impress this person. You don't have to bend over backwards to please them. Okay. Mm -mm. I actually feel you're more than likely to get what you want if you don't chase, you don't do too much. Just a little bit. Just let them know that you're interested. 
that you find them attractive and that's about all you really need to do at this point just kind of go with it okay take care see you soon